Welcome back guys. All right, we're going into the next tutorial for the making missions in DCS for Dummies series. And we're gonna quickly go through static units part two and how to make it look nicer, prettier, and less tedious for you, which is always good as well. So we're gonna grab our good old, uh, our lovely whatever that's, Cobra. Cobra? We're gonna grab him. The old Cobra. We're gonna swing him around so he's nice and right dressed there to the edge of the runway. And what we're gonna cover is if I want to put another one in. Okay, I've gotta go static units. Put another one in. And you gotta keep clicking, right? Static unit, oh, wrong one. Static unit, click again. So you gotta click, 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 blah, 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 blah. All right, so what we can do is we can click this guy, press uh, Control C, and then wherever your mouse is, right, press Control V, and paste in a whole heap of static object, and quickly show you what it looks like. And we spawn in. There they are. All right, we got all of our static objects. So you can make your missions or your uh, your airfields look nice and populated by static aircraft or uh, trucks and all the rest of it. All right, and the only other thing, guys, with the mission editor, just to make your life a little bit easier, so say you wanted to select all of these guys and clone this whole row and make another another row kind of place in front of them. Okay, mass produce. So what you can do is you can uh, press and hold left shift, click on the units, and you can select all of your units, press control C, and then move your mouse, control V, and you will spawn in a whole heap of other ones. Okay, you still gotta, can you actually grab them both? No, you can't. So if you wanna make, like just spawn in a heap of them, and just cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. You can do that as well. You can't move the whole group again, which is a pain in the ass, but it's better than nothing. So if only you could like just left click like on Windows and highlight all of them and then drag all of them and move them. That'd be nice, but unfortunately not, not with static objects. It does not work that way. All right, guys, short and sweet. Control C, Control V is your friend. All right, hope that helped. Catch you next time.